My name's Bill Alvis. My shop is Tweaking Performance in Eddyville, Kentucky. In 12 days, we put this truck together, and it just started up for the first time at 10 o'clock last night and uh, moved on its own power at about 12 o'clock this afternoon to load it on the trailer to come here. It didn't even roll. I mean, it was sitting on two by fours just so we could move it around. So we had to do full air ride suspension, you know, put an MV3500 five-speed in it, conversion, try to get this eight inches of spacers to work with that belt combination. It's been a struggle. Every, we've hit roadblock after roadblock. 1.30 this morning, I pulled the transmission out of here to reset the throwout bearing. This morning came back, we built the exhaust, cut the hood, and hung the doors on it, started it up and loaded it on the trailer. This wouldn't happen without my wife and my mechanic, Mitchell. We built this truck in 12 days. I'm telling you, we, I've, we stayed up there countless hours. And why I thought it was a good idea, I don't know, because I'm, I'm too old for this. You know, you see the, you see the stuff on TV, the drama infused stuff. I now wonder if it's actually drama, because I lived it and I did it. But I uh, had to do it. And uh, of course, I told my wife I could build this truck for 500 bucks, and I had a bunch of other stuff laying around our shop to build it. And, so we're going to stick with that story. That's a Holly water pump, Holly bracket, every, the whole front accessory drive is Holly. Sniper unit on it, the Holly fuel pump, the MSD ignition box, that's what's controlling the ignition is the MSD ignition box. So, yeah, I mean, it, the stuff works. Like I said last year, I mean, why, why go sourcing junkyard parts and everything else? And these trucks are so crammed for space. The Sniper, I mean, it, that's all the wires. So I don't have to, I didn't have to hide a bunch of stuff and find places to put it in the dash because eventually this will have vintage air on it. You know, that way, you know, that way I, and I need, the real estate is a premium on a, pit, on a C10. The dual sniper came out, that's what I wanted originally was this look. You know, the Dominator is what I ran last year, which worked flawlessly. It worked so well on the S10 that it made more power than that little LS2 could, could handle, you know, a few weeks ago. So that's what kick-started this project to be here because I've been to every LS test. I wasn't going to miss one and I wasn't going to be a, you know, just a spectator. And uh, so I was going to be here one way or another. Just trying to keep everything simple. You know, still got the gas tank behind the seat. I'm running a Holley dual pump on the side of the frame down here. Uh, I used all the Earl's push lock hose simple, easy to run, ain't got to poke my fingers and everything, simple. And uh, so far it's been great. I still got to do some tuning on, on highway because I haven't had time to get it over first gear. I mean, I just ain't, I ain't done it yet. So, but I'm gonna take it out tonight and cruise around with it to do some learning on it and uh, see how it does. But it's just a driver, you know, I'm not even gonna do a burnout. It's got a stock clutch in it. I've, I'm gonna be good this year. Cause I want to I want be able to get it back home. Cause I've still got a few things I had to get that, you know, tidying up with some stuff that I want to get done. I got an intercooler on it that I'm actually going to plumb up and put ice in it so I can lower my intake air temps, you know, but that just was one of the things that just didn't make the list this time. Mm -hmm.